Hello, hello. Welcome back to Crazy Games. We are continuing... The Crane Returns on the Wind. Interlude Chapter Act 1. Uh, this is an Archon quest, where the heart finds rest. Give the Wonder Cores and Adeta tie sigils to the Secretary. The time when the Jade Chamber takes to the skies again is drawing closer. Who knows what will happen when it finally does. So yeah, uh, we're coming to the end of this uh, Archon quest, this Act 1, I guess. And yeah, um, we made friends with Shen He and found a little bit more information about her. Um, we uh, met Yun Jin, Miss Yun Jin of the Opera Opera House, and um, we learned a little bit of how she kind of comes to know Shen He's like story. She, her father, like wrote a play, an opera play, I guess. Uh, Kind of depicting Shen He's past without really knowing that it's Shen He's past, so it's like, um, kind of exaggerated, I guess. Or a lot of like story beats has been changed to fit a certain narrative. And uh, Yun Jin was kind of like sad about that, so she told um, Shen He that she would implore her father to change the story. But Shen He actually likes the opera version more than her actual past, since it's like very inspiring, whereas her past is like somewhat tragic since she's being sacrificed <laughs> so yeah and uh at the same time we're helping ning guan gather the material she needs to rebuild this um glorious jade chamber right here and uh, it seems like after every story quest a little bit more has been built and uh there's like buildings on it now i want i'm now i'm wondering like what if i was able to find a way to like make my way up onto the jade chamber it doesn't look like it's possible um I don't think any of these mountains were higher in elevations where I can glide to it. And it doesn't look like there's ways to climb up it since it's like that weird shaped, that like cone, upside down cone. So you can't really use the game mechanics to climb up it. So I don't know. I wonder if anyone has found like a way to get up there, whether if it's like using glitches or something and actually explore it up there. To kind of show it off. Maybe there is a way and I just didn't know. <laughs> Maybe you could have talked to someone and they would have brought you up there for a little tour. But I, if that's uh, the case, I would have missed it. And uh, unfortunately, that's just how things go. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, continue. Hopefully there's enough content here to really fill out a good video here. But um, I'm, from what I understand, from what I've experienced in the past, a lot of these... Uh, ending dialogue sections of this story it gets pretty long-winded so that's why i ended my last video where i ended it in order to start this video here now all right ning guang's little secretary we found all the materials uh-huh oh already oh uh, yeah we're really good at our jobs <laughs> all three of you found them together okay i see the Wonderclores and Adepti sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. Oh yeah, victory! I win calls the, for the participants to gather. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beido. Woo! So what happens to the other ones? They have like procured, um, uh, a portion of it, but then um. Because they lost, they are going to have to deal with that portion themselves. <laughs> They're like, oh, we spent all this time uh, doing all this work, and we don't even get paid to do it. <laughs> what? It's over already? I haven't even found the plot strike yet. <laughs> Hong Fei, you loser. Go back to uh, Little Leaks, where you belong. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you better believe it. We're just really good at our jobs. We have this thing called a plot armor. <laughs> That helps us whenever we need it. Uh, so close, but so far. He probably didn't even procure one one of the things at all. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Oh, we gotta go up there. Huh? Where's Beto? She was right here. She's like, I don't like Ningguang. She's kind of, I don't, know, don't like her. Captain Beto has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. All right then, guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was ages ago. 
Oh yeah, I'm super excited to go back up there too. Hopefully this time is permanent and it won't be used to destroy another uh, boss. <laughs> By wind leads uh, us to the J Chambers. Oh hey Ningguan, and whatever that device is. I kind of want to explore a little. <laughs> Any treasure up here? <laughs> Wait, if I, if I jump down, would I like be able to come back up? Or would it be like, will it teleport me back? I'm going to test it out. <sighs> Oh no, I've fallen off. Bye, Wen. Do your thing and help me back up there. You wanna go up to the come with me then? Okay. I <laughs> think they actually thought about this. Added a way to get back up there. <laughs> uh, give me a second, Ningguan. I want to explore your glorious chambers. And see if there's anything I can steal. Hey. <laughs> Any treasure chests up here? Ningguan's like, why would I put treasure chests for, for people up here? That doesn't make any sense. I don't want people to be exploring and snooping around my office. My office buildings. Silly traveler. Always expecting treasure to be everywhere to be found. No chests? No chests? I guess there's a... Uh, Ningguan's glorious Combine chest. Combine the adept eye sigils with the wonder cores Whoa. and insert them into the jade chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new jade chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. That sounds good. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Okay. Yeah! Miss Yun. I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here? In the newly built Jade Chamber. What? How are regular people going to be able to come up here? The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yun. <sighs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, a traveler, Shenhe, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. Oh yeah, looking forward to it. You're next. What is your question? Uh, where's my brother? I should clarify. I do not Darn know it. your brother's whereabouts. Please. Don't waste your question on this matter. How dare you? Uh, I had my hopes up. Wow. You're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well. Guess Paimon will ask a question then. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, and instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. Or you just get some uh, Ningguang NFTs and you're good, right? If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Wow, Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. What? I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. That sounds awesome. Well, how do I get signed up? I have all these characters that I want to update or upgrade their like talents and stuff for, but I just don't never have the resin or the mora to do it. <laughs> oh, great! So next time we run out of mora, we just need to come to Ningguang. <laughs> It'll be nice stuff, uh, because right now, because I'm free to play, uh. Not only do I need to spend resin on the actual like ascension materials or up upgrade materials and stuff, uh, like doing the domains or actually just the domains, right? Or the boss fights. 
I also had to spend my resin on the uh, ley line blossoms to get more as well. So if there's like a way to like get a lot of more really quick without actually having to spend resin, it would make the whole like leveling up and upgrading and uh, ascension process like a lot better because whenever I, I feel like, oh, I can upgrade this character right now, oh, but I'm out of Mora. Now I gotta spend like a whole day's like resin on uh, getting enough Mora to upgrade or ascend or whatever, a weapon or a character or whatever. And it's just like, oh, well, today is kind of like, uh, it'll feel like no progress is being made. <laughs> no more questions from us. Shenhua, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you. But I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. <laughs> She's like, how do you keep your hair so silky white? Mine always turns a little bit uh, bluish at the end. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably think of another one. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Liyue, Liyue Harbor. Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Liyue Harbor. Oh, huh. a sense of belonging. Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it, it always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet, I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beto! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? There's something in the water. Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. <gasps> but we don't want to know even more now! <laughs> Ningguang begins to prepare for liftoff. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen at all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Okay, that sounds good, Ningguang. Let the ascension ceremony commence! Woo! Jade Chamber 2.0 Ascension. You again. <laughs> Is that a uh, Raiden Shogun doing that? <laughs> the Avenger of the Vortex by Sh Who is that? Oh, wait. Osile's wife. Wait, what? Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! 
Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it. Well, let's go fetch the Adepta. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyua must find a way to overcome Whoa. this crisis. Whoa, is that her constellation? <laughs> Well, I, I honestly think Yingguang should be like be a five-star character from the power she exhibits in these cutscenes. Oh, Keqing is here. Oh yeah. Oh, and Gan Yu, Gan Yu. Whoa! That is a really awesome cutscene. <laughs> Uteb! Are we gonna fight that? Oh no! All hands! Tsunami incoming! It has sails, uh, oars, and like that fairy, whatever that thing is called. <laughs> What's that? Wait! A giant wing! Uh oh. We didn't really get to see Ning Guan because she didn't do anything. But we used Geo there. If I didn't switch to Geo, would she have used Electro there in that cutscene? But I, I thought that was like a pre rendered cutscene. Ooh. Oh, hello. Caress me some more, Shinha. You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Yeah, be the hero of uh, Li Yue. <laughs> Whoa, her eyes glowing. Well, actually, everything is glowing. Whoa! I guess she is like technically a strong, like an adept eye or something, right? Whoa! She froze the entire tsunami. But she's so cool. <laughs> That's badass! Do we get to play as Shen He now that, now that uh, Traveler has been taken out of permission? Whoa! What are you doing here? Whoa, this is awesome! Be the only one taking this risk? Wait, why is uh, ki the boss already like almost risk. dead? The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. Is this going to be a weekly be boss fight? With my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. Okay, interesting. Rest and rebuild. I don't think this is gonna do much to a water, <laughs> a water character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here. Oh, there's two of them. Kage Bunshin. Who wants some of this? Hey, I wasn't ready. boy. I don't have shields again. Oh, a new boss fight. I wonder if this is gonna be like a a weekly one. It would be cool it would if it, it is. I just charge! Yeah. Drop. Uh. 
Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be paying attention three-dimensionally. <laughs> Level 92. Fall in. Let's roll. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can use Lumine's uh, Starfell sword as a. That's a bit of a... Oh, they explode and hurt them. That's a bit of line of sight. No, don't retreat yet. Owie, owie, owie. The background looks pretty cool. We're like in this crazy vortex. I guess I can't look like directly up, unfortunately. And the sensitivity on the vertical, the Y axis is not too good. Come on. This is kind of a boring fight though, because because it's, it's just like a lot of waiting around in order to do something. Maybe if I had higher DPS, I would have finished this by now. have good commentary at this point since I'm just so like focused on the fight and there's really nothing to really comment on I guess it's like it's not too bad this fight because there's telegraphs and uh, the environment looks really cool but then there isn't really like the DPS um, burn phases or opportunities are not like that great so I can't like go into his ult and start blasting him I'd run out of time by the time like the animation is is there is like done Who wants some of this? come on come on ah, let's roll. yeah like I'm still in his ult form but I already lost the opportunity to continue attacking at that point and it kind of feels like a waste of the ult. Ah! Oh wait, I have her. Why am I not using her? Jeez. I should be focusing on using her instead. Maybe I would have been doing a lot better. <laughs> Come on. You guys cannot get closer. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit 
this button to switch to her, but I accidentally activated the burst instead. My will embodied. Oh yeah, this is way stronger. She's way stronger. Take your true form. Yeah, Shenhe's getting the job done. Oh wait, I can attack him while he's like hanging out there. Right? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Take your true form. Oh, Sile's wife. I felt like that was kind of silly. His wife. Not like, I don't know. Like, it, you just, when you say, like, oh, Sile's wife, you kind of get, like, an implication that he had to, like, court her and, like, sweet talk her and go on dates with her. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit silly. That's, like, implied. Transfiguration. Majestic of the Deep. She's Shouldn't we go after her? This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. Okay. Thank you, Shenhe. Thanks for being on the team temporarily. Really appreciate it. Are you all right? Are you I'm okay? Those are the two exact same things. Otherwise, fine. <laughs> I'm a little, t I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. It was accident, I swear. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. How do you know After that? an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. Oh, okay. How did things go underwater? It was all right. Um, I was trying to fight using Ito, but uh, I realized Shinho was on the team, so as I switched her, and it went. The fight went a lot faster after that. It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Ooh, thank you. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Oh, also on top of that, if um, that was Osail's wife, does it mean there's other, like, um, whatever those things are called, serpent, sea serpent monsters out there? Like, there couldn't just be two, right? He, in a, in a, I don't know, environment where um, you have to look for a spouse or a partner or a mate, <laughs> it would it would suggest and imply that um, there would be like a society of these things, right? Like you, it's not just one and the other and they kind of just magically meet and uh, there's only two of their race and uh, that's why they decide to become a partner or anything, right? <laughs> So are we in a lot more troubles in some of the more deeper waters? There's like a whole like nation of those things. <laughs> what if um, Osail's like best friend was jealous? Or Osail, yeah, Osail's like wife's best friend was jealous. Like, oh, but I really, I had a crush on Osail. Why, why did he choose you? Uh, and then there's like a lot of like, <laughs> like uh, soap opera drama <laughs> that kind of, uh, comes from it but i don't know that's just me being weird i guess my mind went in that direction when i heard oh my goodness that is uh osail's wife <laughs> like if osail's like remnant energy possessed something and brought like something else to have superpower or something i would kind of buy that more but the fact that it was o osail's wife just feels so silly to me <laughs> i don't know <laughs> thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and lady kuching's command our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. <laughs> On behalf of the entire Melilith, thank you for your service. Ah, it's no big. Oh, wait. Just, they're, they're talking about Shenhe. <laughs> I... Uh... Shenhe protected us. Just like the hero in the story. This feels like it's supposed to be one sentence and one option. Great. 
Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Because we're friends. <laughs> let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. <laughs> See, no. <laughs> I was just like passing by uh, on the way to the shopping mall. There's like a sale. <laughs> hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shanhe. Which is uh, pretty much an adeptus at this point, right? <laughs> that I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. Yeah, okay, Ningguan. <laughs> we'll believe it when we see it. If it came to it, I could always destroy another... No, don't do... <laughs> no, we just got that back. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista. And find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. I think... This is considerable progress compared to the last time. I think... Was it this video or the last video? I was calling this character Mountain Shaper. It's actually Cloud Retainer. I keep getting all, them all like mixed up. <laughs> Hence on balance. One finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough but there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter while the position of Tianjuan remains mine i will always ensure liu's safety interesting ningguan uh, the english voice actress for ningguan pronounced Tianjuan pretty good but then for whatever reason i don't know if it's just like the direction given to her or the word li yue is just not right but for whatever reason like she pronounces like li wa or something like that and it's a little bit weird but i don't know in this case she seems to have pronounced tian chen properly so i wonder what goes behind the scenes to <laughs> have a result like that <laughs> shen he one saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago and notice the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Even Clout Retainer calls it Liyue when it's Liyue, right? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Did Was was there like an initial, like when the game first launched, like the direction was Liyue and uh, it just kind of became a thing for so long that they're like, ah, we're not going to, It'll be awkward to change it now, so we'll just continue to just call it the UA since everyone would, uh, er, all the English speakers would be used to that, or the UA Harbor being called that at that point. So they're just like, oh, whatever, we'll just leave it. It's not that big of a deal, it doesn't really um, change anything, and it it's only affects like a really small portion of the population of the community since like. Uh, most people would probably just play it in English or just play it in Chinese or just play it in Japanese. Whereas since I'm I'm kind of like in a more unique position since uh, I'm doing this for YouTube and I keep switching the languages here and there and experiencing it in all these different ways that may, lets me notice these kinds of things. And um, I guess it also affects uh, Chinese speakers that also understand English. <laughs> but that's still like a small... A minority of people compared to like the entire um population for this game or the entire demographic of this game i guess and also on top of that any chinese um people or people who understand chinese who would also play it in english maybe a lot of them would play it in a different language i don't know anyways let's continue yes i can't explain it but I feel happier than I expected. You can feel happy? That's a good sign. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shanhe. She is a dear child. Is she? Was she also super fat and rolled down the hill once as well too? In fact, 
One has many nice. fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear. Oh no, I, I'm feeling the dot 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 means she's gonna get interrupted. There'll be no need. Ha! Ah, uh, it would be awesome if uh, we got to see here a little bit of an embarrassing, cute, little, adorable, um, endearing story about Shen He when she was young. Oh. Hmm. They are all like this. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't listen to Shen He. Tell us, tell us. We want to know. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling. No. One shall be going homeward now. No, Cloud Retainer. I wanted to hear. Please, have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Can we recover our energy? On the J Chamber, Ningguan, uh, and spend some uh, quality time with you. Uh, uh, we can rest. Uh, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, teleport waypoint unlocked. Where the heart finds rest, head to the J Chamber to take part in the victory feast. Where are we looking at here? Wait, what? Why did it say a teleport waypoint has been unlocked? What was that all about? Anyway, this place is cool. These are the Guizong uh, Ballistas. Can we talk to these uh, big boys? Might as well get the ore here. Since uh, I'm here anyway. <laughs> it's weird that uh, Noel can break these in three hits, but I'm pretty sure like all of the great for great sword users that came out during this Inazuma thing takes uh, four hits. Like Sayu and Ito both takes four hits to break these, which is kind of lame. <laughs> I feel like Ito should like be able to break these in like one or two hits since he's like he looks so much bigger and stronger. <laughs> Sayu takes four shots and it's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. She's tiny. Hey, Kaching, how are you doing? The Melilis casualties are within the range we expected. But in hindsight, there were still flaws with our plan. Well, look at the background. The Gu Yun Stone Forest and the dragon spine, kind of like just opposing each other. <laughs> if we'd had more time, we could have built a barrier here to absorb the impact of the waves. We must learn from this experience and never repeat the same mistakes again. We were fortunate to have your assistance this time. Thank you. Nah, nah, nah. It was all Shen He. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Kuching. Nice to see you in the story. Why am I stuck there? Well, it was Paimon, wasn't it? Uh, was, where's Gan Yu? Why is uh, Kuching here? I'm not Gan Yu, even though Gan Yu was uh, in the cutscene. Uh, I should be getting out of here. Whoa, hello! Oh, sweet! You can just teleport straight on there. Very nice. I like that. I hope this is a permanent thing. We can always come back up here whenever we can. We want, even after this story is done. Everyone's already seated. Oh, do we get to see a a performance by Yun Jin? She got introduced for a reason, right? It's Paimon's first time attending a banquet in the Jade Chamber. The food here looks amazing. I do not see a single food in the scene right now, Paimon. Are you imagining it? <laughs> All of you here are my distinguished guests. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses. But it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. <gasps> Sounds awesome. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any Su of Miss Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. That doesn't sound good. Hey! But it look, sounds good. Ms. Yun is going on stage. Oh yeah, she you. She you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Paimon's all like excited dance. Oh, Shenhe. Ooh, hello. What is that, uh, Mega evol Evolved Gengar? That's supposed to be Shen He? She uses a spear. Ooh, I guess they said she had a dagger or something like that, right? Ooh, I love these animations, they're so cool. <laughs> Oh, I turned her hair white. Aw, she included us in her little, like, opera. What? That's so awesome. She included uh, our little adventures what did you think? in it. Personally, I thought I sang rather well. Oh yeah, oh, it was pretty awesome. It's really weird that they decided to... to uh, maybe it's not weird, maybe I'm just stupid, but... Um, using red thread to... Um, I guess bind or suppress the calamity inside Shen He. That that's an interesting choice because um, in uh, Chinese folklore, or I guess I don't know what you would call it, uh, red thread is like used to uh, signify like like uh, fate, I guess, or romance between like a man and a woman. Uh, there's like this god of like this fate or whatever. I don't, I don't know exactly what this is called. There's probably like a, a real name for it. This is just me going off <laughs> uh, off the top of my head remembering like little stories i hear as a kid but uh yeah like the red thread is like this god of romance or fate or whatever would or destiny <laughs> would um tie red threads uh like on the legs of like a man and uh, a woman or whatever so that it signifies that they would be uh destined to be together or something like that but um i don't know i don't know what the reason was for um uh, Shen he to also be associated with red threads as well. It could have been anything, really, right? It could have been a gold thread or, um, I don't know, <laughs> some other object, some like focus or something, or some, um, some seal, like Chi Chi's like seal on her head, <laughs> or I don't know. It could have been anything, but they went with red thread, so I don't know. I wonder if there's uh, any more significance to that, and I'd wonder what. The reason they chose that specifically to be, I don't know. Um, maybe I don't really understand the red thread. It is just like from the shows I watch as a kid, so it might, it might not actually be a real thing either. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, continue. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. 
It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Aw. Thank you. Oh, I think I found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun! <laughs> Here you are. Great to see you. Is Su Tao Hu Tao's uh, friend? Brother? <laughs> Father? Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it. Like an adeptus. Yeah, okay. You don't see any other adeptuses here, Su Tao. Are you stupid? Wait. You're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. This was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat, get better acquainted. Uh, we're actually busy tonight. Uh, we're about to go um, home. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own oh. choice. Oh, what? <laughs> Uh-oh. This feels all too familiar. Shenhe's back to her old self again. It seems she still has a long way to go. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm nice to you, okay? So you gotta... <laughs> Calm down, Shenhe. Calm down. <laughs> The crane returns on the wind. Quest complete. Yay! Oh, we get to talk to some of these people. Oh, they're still here. Let's talk to Shenhe. Wait, what did I get there? Dragonair's false fin. Oh? I guess it's just another thing uh, signifying that I've completed this um, section of the story. Wait, where is it? I thought it would be here. In this thing. But what did I just get there? Oh, I got some rocks. Is it was it just a decoration? Well, when did I get a bird? Oh, I was playing with that weird net thing. That's right. Uh, da, da, da. no, it's not a. What did I just get there? <laughs> I am slightly confused. We got a new thing here. Oh, yeah, I caught this in the in Konomia or whatever the place was called. I don't think it would be here. Oh wait! Oh, it's um there is a boss thing. Okay, so that Osao's wife is gonna be a boss fight, a weekly boss fight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh Shenha, what you got to say? Now that I think about it, I'm glad Master sent me here to deliver the sigils. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you. I'm sure I have much to learn from you in the future. Good talk. It's kind of sad to see um, Ning Guang sitting alone there. It would have been a little bit better to see like Beidou sitting here with her. <laughs> it would have been a, a little bit of a sweet little thing. <laughs> Yun Jin, what do you got? To act, one must first feel. How do I reach these kids? After our trip to Mount Tianhong together, I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? Sure, if it helps. Ningguan, what you got to say? You've made an exceptional contribution toward the building of the new Jade Chamber. Ah, uh, nah, don't worry about it. I will not forget this. <laughs> I shall be sure to repay your kindness at an appropriate juncture. I will not forget this. Oh, thank you. That sounds good. Ju Tao. More wine! More wine! We're not the waiter. Get it yourself. Uh, Yong Ye. Drinking and watching opera in the Jade Chamber. A rare and exquisite pleasure. Is this actually Yong Ye? Oh, maybe not. Or is this voice like Yong Ye's voice? Yong Ye with uh, Y O N G Y E A, I think, is the YouTuber. It's like this video game uh, news YouTuber person. Uh, for those who don't know, I guess. 
I actually watch his content like pretty often. He does a really good job, I think. And I think he does like do voices for this game too. He's also like a voice actor. And uh is this actually his voice? <laughs> it's actually Young Ye. <laughs> let's let's listen to it again. Drinking and watching opera in the Jade Chamber. A rare and exquisite pleasure. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he does what like he uh, the YouTuber Young Ye put his um, like, what is it? Portfolio reel, like all of all his like different kinds of uh, characters he can voice on his like YouTube channel, and he does have like a huge range. So he does like really justified like knightly person. He does like a really crazy like uh, psychopathic uh, murderer person, and. Like he's he's done like quite a bit of different voices, so this could technically this could actually be him, and I would not know. <laughs> but yeah, I guess um that's interesting. <laughs> uh, she you. I wonder when I'll be able to build a jade chamber of my own. <sighs> It'll take a lot more wealth than I have now. But hey, you've got to dream big. Who knows if I keep working at it. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, she you. Keep at it. Can you jump on stage? Cafe. <laughs> That's uh I like to drink today coffee. It's uh a thing I say really often. It's kind of an inside joke. <laughs> but um I don't think I'll uh now let's just talk to this guy too. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. How may I be of service? Hello there. Hello, I am Lady Ningguang's bodyguard. Well, that's my title anyway. In practice, this is a clerical job roughly half the time. I was doing various odd jobs for a while before being roped back in here by to my old post once the Jade Chamber was restored. Uh, what can you tell me about Ningguang? Ah, so you're another one of those who want to find out Ningguang. Oh, this is the old dialogue. Uh, yeah, she like keeps a thing, right? Bai Xiao pesters her about the idea of constantly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think this is old dialogue. Yeah, her cousin. Yeah, I think we talked to this guy before. But he had like a little bit of different dialogue to start, but then for whatever reason, it like jarringly shifts to physical training and Ning Guan, which is what he uh, talked about before. Anyways, yeah, I guess I'm just like kind of dilly dallying. <laughs> And uh, for my own sake, really, because I want to talk to everyone and see everything. But yeah, I guess this is all I've got for you for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. It was really interesting. Uh, this entire story was pretty epic. And uh, it was pretty nice to know the background story of Shen He. <laughs> She's like the new character of this place. So it's nice to know more about her right away. Whereas like a lot of the other characters, we still don't really know a lot about. Like, for example... Um, Kachin, we don't really know that much about aside from her uh, being one of the Qi Xing and also loving shrimp balls. Um, Kujo Sarah, we kind of know. We don't really know that much about Xin Yan except for her little adventure in Inazuma with uh, Tartaglia and the Omnio Chambers. We don't really know that much about Rosaria, even though... Yeah, so like, there's a lot of characters that we don't really know that much about, even though they're already playable. So it's nice that we know we immediately get to learn of um, learn about Shen He the moment her character is like available to be like up to be a playable character. So yeah, it's nice. Um, I guess that's all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.